Hi everybody, my name is Joey Fight from thephysicaleducator.com and today I don't have a full game for you. Rather, we're just going to add a build to a game that I uploaded to this channel a long, long time ago. That's right, folks. Today we're adding a build to Star Wars Tag. And if you've never heard of Star Wars Tag before, I really recommend that you go check out that video first or else the rest of this may be very confusing. Just hit the little video card up in the corner and then jump right back here when you're done. So if you're a stormtrooper at heart and didn't actually hit that video card, here's a quick recap for you so you know what's going on. Star Wars Tag is a chasing and fleeing game that involves a ton of different roles. The most common role are the rebels. These are the fleeing players in the game. They don't have any special powers, they're just trying to cause all kinds of headaches for the Empire. Now speaking of which, that brings us to our main chasing players, which are the stormtroopers. The stormtroopers wear pennies and each have a hoop which serves as their blaster. The stormtroopers are trying to tag the rebels by hitting them with their blaster, and to do so they have to kick the blaster so that it slides along the ground and hits the rebel in their feet. If a rebel gets hit by a stormtrooper's blaster, they are frozen and can no longer move. Now also on the chasing players team is Darth Vader. Darth Vader has a red hoop that they can use to try and hit the rebels as well. If a rebel gets hit by Vader's red blaster, they remove themselves from the game, grab a penny, and rejoin as a stormtrooper. Now the rebels aren't alone in this fight, they do have some heroes to help them out, namely Luke and Leia, or you could play Luke and Rey if you want to be all new school about it. Either way, these two Jedi each have their own lightsaber, which they will use to tag frozen rebels and help them become unfrozen and rejoin the game. These two Jedi have to watch out though, because just like the rebels, they can get tagged by the stormtroopers blasters and become frozen. Now later on in the game, we actually add Master Yoda to the game. Master Yoda has a green hoop, and they can use that hoop to kick it and try hit stormtroopers. If a stormtrooper gets hit by Master Yoda's green hoop, they remove their penny and rejoin the game as a rebel. So that's a recap of the five original builds of Star Wars Tag. Let's get into this brand new build, which is the Mandalorian. So one student will be selected to play the role of the Mandalorian, which is a hero character that's going to work alongside the Jedi to help free frozen rebels. The Mandalorian will be given two items. The first is a full length pool noodle, which will be their Beskar spear, which is what they'll use to tag and free any frozen rebels. The second will be a couple flag football flags, which will be the Mandalorian's Beskar armor. As you'll see, this armor is going to protect the Mandalorian from getting hit by any of the Stormtroopers' blasters. So the Mandalorian joins the game with the mission of trying to free any frozen rebels. However, unlike the Jedi, if the Mandalorian gets hit by a Stormtrooper's blaster, they do not become frozen. Instead, they just lose one piece of their Beskar armor, which means that they remove one of their flag football flags. The Mandalorian keeps going about their business until they no longer have any Beskar armor, in which case they keep playing, but now they can become frozen if they get hit by a Stormtrooper. So that's it for this quick addition to Star Wars Tag, which I'm sharing with you in celebration of Star Wars Day. I hope you have a ton of fun playing this game with your students. May the force be with you. Thank you so much for watching and happy teaching.